guys i hope everyone is doing okay today so today i have so many new sneak peeks to show you guys for the upcoming updates for dress to impress and honestly looking at these sneak peeks right now i am so confident to say that the halloween update in october is going to be pretty huge like it's probably going to contain so many new things and i just can't wait to see it with that said, you guys, in this video, I decided to only show you guys the most recent things just so that this video isn't too long for you guys. How are you guys? I say this at the beginning of every single video, but it's just for you guys to keep this in mind. But once again, you guys, everything that I'm sharing in this video may change at any time, become invalid or just no longer relevant. Additionally, I am obviously not part of the development team for Dress to Impress, so I don't know what's happening behind the scenes, so I can't verify the accuracy of my predictions and theories that I'll be sharing with you guys in this video and i can confirm the sneak peeks i'm showing you guys today will 100 come to dress to impress because obviously you guys the developers may change their mind or they may switch things up so it looks completely different to how it looks like in this video okay so please keep that in mind whilst you're watching this video okay so the first thing i want to show you guys in this video and the first thing i want to start off with is some hair sneak peeks because you guys oh my gosh we've had i think it is five sneak peeks of the new hairs and oh my gosh that is a lot so i did show this in my previous video but i will mention it again just in case you have missed that video but also because i have figured something out that is honestly pretty crazy so yesterday we've had another sneak peek of these new four hairs and oh my gosh they look incredible like i'm pretty sure that rio the person that made this new hair is new to the development team for dress to impress because they were looking to hire new hair modelers and i'm pretty sure that he was recently hired i could be wrong i'm not too sure how are you guys they are so talented oh my gosh this third hairstyle really reminds me of a hairstyle that we have in game already however instead of the buns being like fluffy like this they are actually braided and that's what it reminds me of however i love the variation so much and i absolutely love how they are trying to implement different types of hairstyles with different textures like for example these bantu knots like that is so cool and i just really like that it will definitely help with players not feeling marginalized and they will definitely have a way to express themselves instead of dress to impress if they play dress to impress to express themselves in different things because because obviously guys everyone plays dress to impress a little bit differently so i'm really happy that dress to impress is implementing such a huge variation of different hair types and hairstyles however guys yesterday we did get a sneak peek of this hairstyle which looks like it's from monster high more specifically draculaura if i'm pronouncing her name correctly it is a character instead of monster high however guys this hair is really pretty it obviously is and in case you didn't know the hairs and the bangs are going to be separate for this hairstyle right here and i also believe for these hairstyles right here too i'm not too sure but i feel confident to say that the hair and the bangs are going to be separate for these low buns over here i'm not too sure about this one however guys i realized that there is a possibility that dress to impress took inspiration from a very well known editor here in the dress to impress community so this hair looks so similar to a fan made concept by forever sparks over on tiktok so for those that don't know who they are they're a very talented editor who has created so many different like update concepts for dress to impress as a dress to impress fan so i have spoken a little bit about them on my channel before because because honestly the work is so so amazing and creative however guys i do want to mention really quickly that their concepts are just ideas and they are not guaranteed to be inside of dress to impress so please keep that in mind however you guys a while ago forever sparks did actually do a concept and in the concept where they had the task bar they did actually have the pink and the black hair here and basically the concept was that if you place top three in 30 rounds you will basically get this prize which is this hair obviously this is a concept but this isn't a concept video so i'm not going to dive deeper but you guys i just find it really interesting how dress to impress decided to implement this exact hair well it's not totally exact because there is some differences however the inspiration is there and i just find that really really interesting so you guys this makes me wonder if in the future we may be seeing more concepts made by forever sparks being implemented into the game but it is obviously not confirmed but i just find that really interesting like i said a million times but as a matter of fact you guys this draculaura hair is so common and so popular like it is in so many different games like not only roblox it is in so many different 
different games that it might not even be inspiration from Forever Sparks. So I can confirm this for sure. So you guys, today we had another post leak by Zack. And for those that don't know who Zack is, they do make a lot of animations and poses inside of Dresser and Press. How are you guys? This sneak peek wasn't in the sneak peek channel. It was in the main chat. So I'm not too sure if any of you guys have seen it or if you have missed it. But once again, I'm going to include it in this video because it is new. So you guys, this is the pose. I predicted something like this to come to Dress to Impress as it is a very common pose that people do. So I'm pretty sure that this is just a pose that was on Zach's list and it is a necessary inspiration from me. However, you guys, it is so, so pretty regardless and I am so excited to see inside of the game. But you guys, I am predicting that we're going to be getting a whole pose pack dedicated to the new finger bones feature. So if you you don't know what that is the dress to impress characters now have like metaphorically bones in the fingers allowing the developers to move them and post them just like you can see in this photo now you guys a while ago zach did mention that we should be saving up for new post packs so this is the message in question and it reads guys start saving up for new post packs because these are going to be the ones you want and one of the post packs that i think is going to be implemented into the game is basically a bunch of poses featuring the new finger bones because you guys if you were to compare the first leak that we've had which was this really cute one with a heart and then this recent one which is a peace sign i believe it mainly focuses on the new finger bones so i'm going to assume that we're going to have a post pack that is only going to be dedicated to finger poses so it's not going to be the full body fully posed it's just going to be very simple finger poses which honestly i am not complaining i think they'll look incredible for thumbnails how you guys zach did say post packs which is obviously plural referring to to more than one so with that said i really recommend that you hop inside of dress to impress and start farming for in-game currency so that when the new post packs come out you are able to get every single one of them or the ones that you like because you guys i am predicting that they're going to be a little bit expensive so if i was you i would be farming for those in-game currencies so yesterday we did have a dress to impress developer called mel mention a little like cryptic message saying tomorrow dot dot and then an emoji of a lipstick that is red and then gg replied with sneak peek of a face tomorrow and sent a picture of harley queen so i'm going to assume that the face we were meant to be seen and the reason why i say meant to is because there was some new news that came out that will totally change this however i am going to assume that they're working on a face that is inspired by harley queen which is perfect for halloween However, you guys, that message ended up being deleted and Mel ended up saying that possible sneak peek of a new face tomorrow. So it is no longer confirmed that today as I am watching this that we're going to have another sneak peek. And Gigi did end up saying today that there will be no sneak peeks for a while because they have leaked too much. So here's the message and it basically reads, okay, no more sneak peeks for a while. We leaked too much and the update isn't until a month. So with that said, you guys, this makes me believe that we're not going to be getting a sneak peek of the face. However, you guys, we sort of know what this face is going to be. It is just a theory and a prediction, so it could be completely wrong. However, you guys, if it does come out that some developers are revealing some sneak peeks, I will definitely be making another YouTube video or I will make a YouTube short, so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. How are you guys? Once again, a quick heads up for you guys that everything that I'm sharing in this video may change at any time, become invalid, or no longer relevant. Additionally, I am not part of the development team for Dress to Impress, so I don't know what's happening behind the scenes, so I can verify the accuracy of the predictions and theories that I showed you guys in this video will 100% come to Dress to Impress, and I can confirm the sneak peeks I showed you guys today will 100% come to Dress to Impress too. But anyway, guys, let me know down below what you think about these sneak peeks. I am definitely so excited to see the new poses. That is definitely one thing that I am mostly looking forward to. But as you guys, I will see you in my next video.